I'm the Chief Communications Officer of the Robotics Team, which means I'm basically in charge of fundraising and uh, making sure we look it. I'm Quinn McGinty, and I'm the Chief, Chief Technical, Technical Officer on the FRC Robotics Team 1711, the Raptors. My participation is helping out with the build team and cutting and cutting the robot. Um, this year I'm also helping out with the selling of the light bulbs, or at least I'm trying to. Officially I am CEO of our team, but I focused more or less last year on the CAD work and fabrication of the robot. Uh, what we built uh, is a robot called Hyperion. Uh, like completely designed for a game called Logomotion. Uh, Logomotion is a game put out by uh, First Robotics. Uh, First is an anagram put together, which means for inspiration and recognition of technology, and they put together this program for high school students and junior high students to really uh, compete and have fun with science and technology, engineering, so on and so forth. Um, I came across this when I switched from Grand Traps Academy to Central, uh, to Cap Central. And I just saw that poster and I thought it would be a good idea. And it's something I've been interested in since, uh, since the school. Uh, What's your favorite part of this whole process? Uh, the favorite part is, um, i got to say, really just the build part. Um, just putting all the work together, using your hands. And you learn a lot from it, too, just how you do all these things. I mean, it's skills you sometimes can't find anywhere else for a high school robotics kid. Can you tell us a little bit about those light bulbs? Yeah, the light bulbs are fascinating. They're really, really cool. Uh, they're LED light bulbs, they're highly energy efficient, um, they are warm lighting, they're dimmable, they are going to save you a lot of money every year, they're made of plastic so they won't break on you, they last 22.3 years based off of 3 hours a day, um, which is what they compare all light bulbs to, and yeah, they are just really awesome. They're built by hand, but most of it, the foundation of it, is completely done by a computer or a CNC machine, computer numerically controlled. Uh, those machines do all the cutting for us. It does, uh, if you wanted it to, the CNC machines that weld or turn. And one more question. Yeah. Earlier, you showed us with your Raptor um, mm -hmm. how it could pick up. Could you kind of explain? Sure. Uh, in works. terms of how it picks up things. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what it does is it basically has a conveyor belt system. So we have two conveyor belts in our claw mechanism, which actually picks up the tubes. So the way it works is you have these two things spinning backwards in the same direction, and it kind of sucks in the tube. And then from there, we're able to lift it up really high and um, actually manipulate the tube in midair by moving the conveyor belts different ways. We could spin the tube, uh, which is a huge advantage over other teams. In that aspect, um, a lot of other people couldn't do that, which we were able to do. It was really awesome. So, we were able to spin it, and then when it, we place it in our correct position, we just basically throw the motors in reverse, and they just spit the tube out, just like we sucked it in. Excellent.